David succeeded in ways unimaginable to most of us, but he also endured horrific heartbreak. Out of the heart of David comes this phrase, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. What we have in this passage is a picture of the Christian life. The rest that you so desperately long for will not be found in vacation. It will not be found in a new Netflix series. True rest, rest for the soul, is found as we listen to the Good Shepherd and he leads us to green pastures and living water. I am not a stranger to loss. I am not a stranger to hurt. I'm not a stranger to having a doctor sit across from me and tell me I'll be dead in a couple of years. And so the promise we get here is not a life without pain. It's that he is with you in this valley. It doesn't take God's people long to forget about God and choose our own path, our own way. The good news of Psalm 23 is that when we surrender our life to Christ, when we say yes and we become believers, we have been given the righteousness of Christ. We've been placed on the path of righteousness. What God's bringing is not misery, it's not begrudging submission, it's goodness, that God's big plan for your life is goodness. There are few things that fire up the heart of King David, like the idea of being in the presence of God, our Creator. We were created for that. There's goodness and mercy for the sinner, the struggler, the weary, and we're invited into the presence of God.